Hello guys, welcome to today's tutorial. So in this section, we are going to discuss about a very important and frequently asked topic in the interview that is explain your current project, right? So whether you are from a development background or your automation background or you are into uh, functional testing, okay? This question is very much important for you, okay? And we'll try to give a best possible answer to it, okay? So I have segregated uh, this answer into a couple of modular modular is format so here at the quick look at it we'll go one by one once we move ahead with the tutorial okay with this video so first thing you're going to talk about the domain and technology of the project and the very quick or very high level information about the operational area of the project like what the project is doing okay what it is about okay second thing you're going to talk about the type of the project and very quick information about the layers or the architecture of the relevant models okay third thing or third uh, detail that you'll be discussing with the interviewer is like the flow or the functionality or the feature of your project okay from a layman's perspective means you'll assume the person that interviewer does not know anything about your project okay and you'll try to explain the functionalities of your product right Fourth and last part is you'll be explaining your your functional area. What are the area or modules you are working with? You'll be concentrating on that part and exp explaining depending on the same whether you're into development or into QA, manual automation doesn't make any difference. But you are going to focus on your area of you no know, whatever you are into involved into. You'll be explaining depending on that okay in this way you can you have to refer you have to uh, point into section like you have to refer some use cases that currently you are working with and you have to give a quick details of the flow of the modules or the operations we'll see in one by one format right so first point right domain and technology of the project and the quick information about the area on which the product deals with right so first you will tell what is the domain of the product so there are multiple projects in a multiple domains right some some product depends on like deals with retail domains some bank from banking domains some e-commerce some finance like this right so like flipkart and amazon are there right so those are e-commerce domains some banking applications are there those are from banking domain so you'll mention that our project is on banking domain or e-commerce domain like this right and you need to provide some quick information on the product that is what the product does basically okay so like Flipkart, Amazon, an online shopping platform where user can go and buy all the products or make my trip, let's say. It's an online travel booking and holiday booking application, right? So basically, you'll be giving a half minute description, half a minute description, one line or two liner, what the product is about, right? Next thing that you are going to talk about, the type of the product or the project, okay? And the high level architecture, all the layers that are involved. Right, the so type of the product means what I mean to say is either it is a standalone product or native product or it's a web based. Okay, if it is a web based, how many layers or architecture on a high level are present? If it is an entire architecture, okay, multi multi tier architecture basically, what I mean to say is so then you need to mention like it's a client server, you can mention it's a client server application. Okay, it has some presentation layer, okay, UI layer, some and the next layer is business layer. Third one is services and the DB layer. Services means web services that are getting the information that helps the communication between the modules okay and the technology used in building the layers okay you might not be suppose you are uh, in manual testing right or in automation testing you might not be knowing each and every in and out of the development part but you'll be knowing what is the application built on like let's say java jtwe or angular js or what okay and or whatever web services that is being used okay while developing the framework of the product right so if you can provide this information so interviewer will be impressed trust me guys because he will be having an idea okay this guy having the very high level crisp overview of the product you might be working as a manual guy or like automation guy but you have the necessary details right next thing what you need to do is you have to take a pen and paper or a whiteboard whichever is available to you 
draw a quick diagram and show the connection of the layers like let's say ui layer or presentation layer right so means ui means you as an user i'm interacting with the ui so for amazon amazon you go to amazon search some uh, product so that is the ui layer right so next ui layer next layer is business layer where the business logic and business stuff are implemented right and underneath of that there is a database layer where the database is present and the details or data are getting stored okay it might happen that your application is interacting with another third party application let's say for any uh, tra travel website or some application uses some third party uh, application you may use some third party application for some weather report or maps so google maps some some let's say your application is xyz and it might refer to some other google map okay so that also you can mention right and this communication many communications happening with the api call service call so you can basically depending on your project you can basically draw some diagrams and put the details in a high level okay next thing that you are going to talk about your project functionalities or a feature assuming that the person in front of you does not know anything about your project so you have to make him understand on a high level right let's say you are in uh, amazon or flipkart okay or make my trip okay so basically how you can for e-commerce product right so basically user we can mention user can log in search a product okay add some product okay and pay the amount and get the product okay even he or she can delete or manipulate their details personal details like profile details and all this stuff they can maintain some you no know, uh, delivery options all this stuff that you can mention that right so there is another role you can mention other role, other part as well there is an admin role okay admin user basically you as an admin so and you can perform the control operation operational area okay you can have because admin role or admin user has some control right on the selective portion so whichever is applicable to your product basically gives some insights to that okay without going too much into the technology stack right in this section okay now next thing that we are going to talk about your functional area or module flows with respect to your work okay suppose you are a developer okay mention the modules or a part of modules by referring some of the use cases that you have developed or you have involved into the development right and how it is connected okay how each and every modules are connected or integrated and what is the flow of execution and how you deploy it so ci cd and all this stuff right so you can mention on a high level so as a developer if you are a developer so if you are in automation guy right so mention the module or part of the module okay refer to some use cases that you have automated let's say you say that okay i have the application amazon.com i have automated end to end scenario okay by selecting the product uh, adding it deleting the product okay i had tested i had automated the payment payment gateway stuff as well so you can mention that by referring each and every couple of good and critical scenarios okay and next that next to that if you're automation person right so mention the flow of your automation script writing but which should be relevant to your project it's not purely explanation of your framework or scripting okay and how you integrate or how the modules are integrate how you performing the automation how you are triggering the suites and how it is like if you are using some uh, continuous integration tool like jenkins and all you can mention that that as well so that interview will have an get an app, op, uh, idea okay this is the guy who knows the things from a very uh, very much crisp way and in depth right if you're a manual guy right so mention that what are the modules you had handle okay, while writing the test case test scenarios what are the uh, tests uh, like db uh, db uh, uh, functionality you know what are tables and how many how what are the schemas and all this stuff you can mention because you had used with the database queries sql queries and all this stuff right so you can mention in such a way okay guys this is very important you can mention whichever project you are comfortable with 
okay and explain the same according to the zone of your expertise okay there are n number of project in a single company that is goes that goes on basically one guy from a project even don't know what is happening in the other project in the same company itself so don't be worried about shall, shall i mention this project or shall i shall not mention that that project as well so if you haven't worked on a that specific project as well but if you're trying to show the experience onto that okay you are good to go you should be knowing the whatever details i had shared you should be knowing that and with confidence present that okay next thing that you should keep in mind explain your project that question is basically to judge a person whether you are aware of the project in real time with respect to your job role and your area of expertise okay you will be mentioning this some project in your cv so person is interested to know whatever you had mentioned in the cv is it really the project you are currently working on okay it is not like he is going to scrutinize you right because he will not be knowing in and out of of your project right so be confident while you are explaining the things okay and this is basically a question base question to another question okay which is your roles and responsibilities or a, or a area of expertise next question after this uh, uh, question the interviewer will come up with what are your roles and responsibilities of your in your team or in your project okay so don't be worried whatever project you are comfortable with go with that okay it's not like suppose you are a fresher or you are, a, you are working on to manual manual testing right you are trying to move to automation right you are if you feel that okay i haven't worked on this uh, project for automation as per the automation is concerned but don't be worried you can show the same project for automation as well but make sure you know these things components and all this stuff that's all guys from this section if you do like this video please share it with your friends if you do have any question comment suggestions or feedback please put them in the comment box and do subscribe to my channel for subsequent other videos as well thank you and have a nice day